welcome back to one last Mad About Books Monday before we come back to school for real and we can share all our book recommendations in person. I'm so excited and I hope that you are too. So for this last Mad About Books Monday, I have two things to share with you. One is a student book review. Selke in year six wrote a review of The Wings of Fire, The Dragonette Prophecy, which I'm sure is a book that many of you have read. It's very popular, but I haven't read it. And so I really enjoyed this review. It's a really good review and gave me lots of details about the book. I'll read it to you now. It says, this book is very nice. I think it is for people who like action and mysteries. It is about five dragons kept in this cave and the dragons want to escape. Mm, so that review tells me a little bit about the book, what kind of genre it is, what kind of people might like it, and then also um, some information about the story that can really like hook me in and make me want to read it. So that was a wonderful review. Thank you so much, Silke, for sharing with me. And I hope that more of you will continue to share your reviews in Destiny. Second, I read a wonderful book over my October holiday. I hope many of you also read great books, but I wanted to share this one with you because it was just so special. It's one of my favorite books that I've read in a really long time. It's called Starfish and the author's name is Lisa Phipps. It's a brand new book. We just got it in the library um, right before the break, the day before the break it came in and I've been waiting to read this one for a while. So as soon as I opened up that box, I took this book and I came home with it and I was so excited to read it. Now, our character in this main book, in this book, sorry, our main character is named Ellie. And Ellie's overweight, she's bigger. Um, and because of that, the people in school uh, or people just in general are not super nice to her. Uh, they make fun of her or they make comments about her weight that are not very kind. And Ellie isn't very happy about that. She's feeling a little sensitive about that. Um, but Ellie's also a poet. And so she writes her feelings into poems which is just a gorgeous way to deal with your feelings. And because of that, our book is written in verse. So it looks like this. So you can see it's not full pages. The whole book looks like this because the author of this book is telling Ellie's story through poetry just the way that she would. And there's a couple of things about that that I love. One is that it, I think, makes me feel more connected to Ellie's character because I'm reading like I would be reading her poetry and that's so personal. Um, but also it's a quick read because there's not as many words on a page. I went through it really fast and I felt like the words were really beautiful because it read like poetry. So I love reading novels in verse and I was really excited that this one was written that way as well. I also really like this book for a personal reason. One of the people who's really kind to Ellie in this book is her librarian. And she says something really gorgeous about librarians and how they can help people who feel like outsiders. And I hope that's always something that I could do in my job too, is to welcome people that don't feel welcome elsewhere, just like Ellie's librarian does. Now, this book was really sad, I found, because in the beginning of our story, Ellie's friend moves away um, and her other classmates are not very kind to her. Um, some people in her family even are not very kind to her because of the way she looks. But this book is about Ellie learning to confront her bullies and deal with people that are unkind to her. Um, and I felt really inspired by Ellie and the way that she deals with those challenges. So I definitely recommend this book. It's one of the best books I've read in a really long time. It broke my heart. It made me cry. It made me happy again. I felt all the feelings you should feel while reading a book. Um, so if you're looking for a beautiful read, I definitely recommend Starfish by Lisa Phipps. And like I said, we've got many more new books in the library now since we just got some new ones and you'll be here in person um, to take a look through them and find ones that you like. We got a lot of new fantasy. So if you're a fantasy reader, lots of that kind of stuff, um, as well as some great graphic novels and of course, lots of picture books as always. So we hope there's something here for you. Thank you so much for joining me for our last Mad About Books Monday. I can't wait to see you all in person in the MLC this week. Thank you, readers.